Hello friends, this is Homer Knox of MenTeachingMen.com. In this video, we're going to talk about God's love for us. The video is entitled, I Am Special. The King James Version and New American Standard Bible will be mainly used for a scripture translation in this video. Special thank to the McAvoys and Pastor Luke and Edna Weaver. Suggestions for the usage of this video. Number one, view the entire video. Number two, take one scripture and read it in your Bible. Try to read a verse before and a verse ahead. Number three, meditate. Think deeply and carefully on the verse. Number four, consider memorizing the entire verse. And finally, number five, share the joy of the verse with others. I am special. In all the world, there is nobody like me. Since the beginning of time, there has never been another person like me. Nobody has my smile. Nobody has my eyes, my hair, my nose, my hands, my voice. I am special. No one can see the things just as I do. In all of time, there's never been anyone who laughs like me, no one who cries like me. And what makes me laugh and cry will never provoke identical laughter and tears from anyone else ever. I am the only one in God's creation with my set of natural abilities. There will always be someone who is better at one of the things I'm good at. But no one in the universe can reach the quality of my contribution of talents, ideas, natural and spiritual abilities. Like a room full of musical instruments, some may excel alone, but none can match the symphony sound of the body of Christ when all are played together. Because God has set the members, each one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. Through all of eternity, no one will ever look, talk, walk, think, or do exactly like me. I'm special. I'm rare. As in all rarities, there is great value. I need not attempt to imitate others. I will accept, yes, celebrate my differences. I'm special. I continue to realize it's not an accident that I'm special. I continue to see that God created me special for a very special purpose. I will ask the Father to teach me his divine plan for my life and that the Father will reveal the plan to me unfolding it in perfect sequence and perfect order, revealing it in such a way as to bring the greatest glory to his name. Because I'm special, he called me out and ordained me to a calling that no one else can do as well as me. Out of all the millions of applicants, only one is qualified, only one has the best combination of what it takes that just as surely as every snowflake that falls is a perfect design and not two designs are the same, so it is within the body of Christ also. No two believers are the same, and without each member, the body would be lacking 
and God's plan would be incomplete. 1 Peter 1.23 I am God's child. For you have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable, that is, through the living and enduring Word of God. Ephesians 1.7 I am forgiven of my sins and washed in the blood of Christ. In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of His grace. Second Corinthians 5.17 I am a new creature. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Colossians 1.13 I am delivered from the power of darkness. For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. Galatians 3.13 I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. Ephesians 6.10 I am strong in the Lord. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Deuteronomy 28.2 I am blessed. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Colossians 1.12 I am a saint, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Deuteronomy 28.13 I am the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail and you will only be above, and you will not be underneath. Revelation 21.7 I am victorious. He who overcomes will inherit these things, and I will be his God, and he will be my son. Romans 6.11 I am dead to sin. Even so, consider yourself to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Colossians 3.12 I am elect. So, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, Jeremiah 31.3 I am loved. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have drawn you with my loving kindness. 1 Corinthians 1.8 I am established to the end. God, who will also confirm you to the end, blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. John 8.32 I am set free. And you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Colossians 2.11 circumcised without hands. And in him you were also circumcised with a circumcision made without hands. 
Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ. I have been crucified with Christ, and it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. Ephesians 2.5 I am alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, God made us alive together with Christ. Colossians 2.12 I am raised up with Christ. You were also raised up with Him through faith in the working of God. Ephesians 5.1 I am His faithful follower. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. Matthew 5.14 I am the light of the world. Jesus is speaking. You are the light of the world. Second Timothy 1.9 I am called of God, who has saved us and called us with a holy calling. Ephesians 2.13 I am brought near by the blood of Christ. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Romans 8.37 I am more than a conqueror. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. 2 Corinthians 5.20 I am ambassador for Christ. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were making an appeal through us. James 1.18 I am the first fruits among his creation. He brought us forth by the word of truth so that we would be a kind of first fruits among his creation. 1 John 5.18 I am born of God, and the evil one does not touch me. God's own Son protects them, and the devil cannot harm them. CEV version. Romans 8.17 I am a joint heir with God. Heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.18 I am reconciled to God. From God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Deuteronomy 28.2 I am overtaken with blessings. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. 1 Peter 2.24 I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. By whose stripes ye were healed. Ephesians 2.19 I am a fellow citizen with the saints. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Ephesians 1.13 I am sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. You were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance. 
Colossians 2.10 I am complete in Christ. And in Him, Jesus, you have been made complete. Psalm 17.8 I am the apple of my Father's eye. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Romans 8.1 I am free from condemnation. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5.21 I am the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. He made him who knew no sin to be sin on our behalf, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 1 Thessalonians 1.4 I am chosen. Knowing brethren, be loved by God, his choice of you. Colossians 2.67 I am firmly rooted, built up, strengthened in the faith, and overflowing with thankfulness. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. John 13, 34 to 35. I am a disciple of Christ because I have love for others. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Ephesians 2.19 I am a fellow citizen with the saints. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household. 2 Peter 1.4 I am a partaker of his divine nature. For by these he has granted to us his precious and magnificent promises, so that by them you may become partakers of the divine nature. Ephesians 2.10 I am God's workmanship. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand so that we would walk in them. Philippians 1.6 I am being changed into his image. For I am confident of this very thing, that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. John 17.21-23 I am one in Christ. Hallelujah! That they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. 1 Corinthians 2.16 I have the mind of Christ. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he will instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ? John 6.47 I have everlasting life. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. Ephesians 1.13-14 I have a guaranteed inheritance. You were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise who is the given as a pledge of our inheritance. John 10.10 10. 
I have abundant life. I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. First John 5, 4 John 5.4 I have overcome the world. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Philippians 4-7 I have the peace of God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2-18 I have access to the Spirit. For through Him we have our access in one spirit to the Father. Mark 16, 17 I have power through my faith. These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues. They will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Jesus Christ. I can do all things through Him, Christ, who strengthens me. John 14, 12. I can do greater works. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to the Father. Colossians 2, 6. I walk in Christ Jesus. Therefore, as you have received, Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him. First John 4.4 4, I am greater because of Christ. Because greater is He who is in you than he that is in the world. Philippians 3.14 I press onward to the goal. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Romans 8.2 I live by the law of the Holy Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and of death. John 10.14 I know God's voice. I am the good shepherd, and I know my own, and my own know me. First Peter 2.9 I show forth his praise. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. So that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 2 Corinthians 2.14 I always triumph in Christ. But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ. Colossians 127, Christ in us. Which is Christ in you, the hope 
of glory. Conclusion I am special. We trust that this video will be a blessing to you and give you a better understanding of how special you are to God. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the Men Teaching Men YouTube channel. This video is dedicated to the honor of Rini and Andy Zyme, Lincolnstown, Pennsylvania. Gone to glory, but forever in our hearts. Hello friends, this is Homer Knox again. I hope you enjoyed this video teaching. The question I have for you is, are you born again? Do you know Jesus as your personal savior? If not, why not, why not? Jesus was born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life. He suffered and died under Pontius Pilate and the Romans. He was buried and he rose from the dead on the third day. He's now ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. There is salvation in no one else, no one else. And so if this has stirred your heart and you would like to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, please pray with me. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins, all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my personal Savior. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for my home in heaven. Thank you for giving me the Holy Spirit and making me a new creature. Amen and amen. Well, if you prayed that prayer from your heart, you're now born again. You're a Christian. Welcome. Welcome to the family. If you prayed this prayer after slipping away, you're now part of the family. You're back in the fold. Welcome. Congratulations. There's another teaching on the menteachingmen.com website entitled, I Just Got Saved. And that video will help you with your new walk in Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.